Hello all you budding digital caricature artists, welcome to my latest tutorial for iPad caricatures featuring the glorious Lar D'Souza and all of his colorful glory. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop into my Autodesk Sketchbook app for iPad. This is currently being drawn on an iPad mini second generation. I've got my bottom layer set to a lower opacity and I am just building my blueprint really trying to just kind of block it out with basic shapes just so I can get all of my lines in the right place. So right now I've got my top layer established as my line work layer. I'm using the Intuos Creative Stylus 2 by Wacom. It's the newest pressure sensitive stylus for iPad uh, and it works really well in the Sketchbook app. There's also a few other apps that are currently working on adapting to this particular stylus. But as you can see, my thin lines go on really nicely. They got a nice little glide. And getting those lines to get nice and thick is also pretty easy. One thing that does take a little getting used to versus other styluses is the fact that this tip is a hard plastic. So when drawing on your screen, you don't really have any type of resistance it uh, glides very smoothly, a little too smoothly in my opinion. I tried using a uh, screen protector to kind of cut down on that and didn't really work out all too well. It really uh, kind of messed with my line work a little bit, so I decided to opt for no screen protector. But as you can see here on my top layer, uh, I am not uh, changing the size of my... Uh, my pen tool until I get to the bottom of the beard just because I want to be a little bit bolder. But the lines I'm getting are, are varied. You know, I'm getting some thin ones, getting some medium sized lines, and then I'm also getting big and thick ones just like that one right there. Uh, you'll see that this is being filmed in real time. Uh, digital caricatures in the live field typically take uh, between six and seven minutes. Uh, if you're using a pressure-sensitive tablet, they usually err on the side of being six minutes. Uh, iPad characters just take a little bit longer, especially with my iPad Mini here, just because I have to do lots of zooming. It's very difficult for me to uh, get everything drawn on one plane without zooming on such a small device. Uh, I do know lots of artists that like to draw tiny, so uh, you know it works out a little bit easier for them. But this is just this is just a particular way I like to do it. Uh, this drawing right here clocks in at about uh, 7 minutes and 45 seconds. And that's mainly because Mr. D'Souza has a lot of color in his beard, a lot of color in his hair. Uh, you want to make sure you get all those little quirks that make the person special because that's what makes them really enjoy the drawing. So I'm just working on uh, a few of the final details with the line work. I'm liking how things are looking here. Uh, just going to get a few stubble lines right there. As you can see, I'm just pressing down lightly and I'm getting some really nice thin lines with my stylus. So I'm getting rid of my base layer with the, the little sketch and now I'm moving into my color layer. Uh, the cool thing about Sketchbook is you can save your own little palette. This is the one that's preloaded, so I had to make this color specifically for Lar. But now I'm just plopping in my color. Uh, this is a paintbrush uh, set to the largest width I could find where I could still utilize pressure sensitivity. Uh, I know a lot of artists like to use the lasso tool. That's totally cool. The controls on here are not very difficult to understand. It just takes a, a few days to really figure them out. Uh, I've always been a big fan of just coloring like the good old-fashioned days, like like I'm using my coloring book. Uh, now I've got my airbrush tool because I want to have a nice little gradient going into Lars' face just to kind of make it a smooth transition. Not really uh, messing around right now. I'm just blocking in that color. One thing you have to understand is when you're doing live caricatures, you don't want to get stuck in a corner trying to be too detailed. A lot of the problems digital characters find is that uh, they won't get a booking because they say they can do 10 or 8 characters per hour, but then when they're actually on site, they only end up doing 4. 
because they just get too caught up in those details. So just block it in really loosely. Don't be afraid to go outside the lines a little bit. Keep in mind, a lot of us print these caricatures on a really small media. You know, four by six isn't that huge. So a lot of those imperfections that you see uh, while drawing aren't really going to be that visible once the consumer has it in their hands. So right now I'm just blocking in a few more colors. Just got to get that light gray in Lars' hair. And once we uh, get all that action in there, uh, we're going to move on to getting some shading. Uh, good thing about this particular stylus, I don't know if you just noticed that, but I hit the, the back button on it and it erased the mistake I made, which is pretty cool. Uh, you know, I've used pressure sensitive stylus before in the past to really mix results. I, uh, given away the past two styluses I had just because I was not happy whatsoever with the quality of line I was getting. But I got to say, the newest Wacom stylus, I'm really happy with the lines I've been getting. And, uh, you know, I might have to stick with this guy uh, for the long haul. So I'm going into my uh, shading layer, which is directly above my color layer. I always tend to pick a maroon and put on multiply at a low opacity. What happens is, is when I apply my shading, uh, it doesn't matter what color I'm laying that maroon on top of, it's going to add the illusion of shadow to that color. So right now I'm just going into his skin tones, but once you see me get into his beard, you're going to notice that the beard gets equally as dark as the rest of his face. It's a really fun cheat. Uh, it makes the shading process go by a lot faster. A lot of artists I know will just pick a darker skin tone and a darker gray tone for the beard, and that'll be their shading. But that's a few extra steps, and, and you don't really, you can't really afford to take that extra time. So I'm just blocking in some loose shadowing, loose shading on the, on the, uh, on the face here. Once again, not getting too caught up in the details. And I'm almost at a point where I'm pretty happy with what I've got. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my top layer. And I'm going to add in just some specks of white uh, to give the illusion that light's hitting him in certain spots. It just adds a nice little pop to it and uh, makes it stand out a little bit more. Especially in that beard. I mean, come on. There's 50 shades of gray in that bad boy. And then, just to kind of top everything off, I'm going to add a little uh, airbrush white to give the illusion of a glare on the glasses. And then, don't think I forgot about this, there's some additional color on this guy. He's got blue in his beard. He's got yellow, green, uh, a light purple in his hair. So I'm just lightly adding in some color there just to stay true to my subject matter. You know, if you get someone that has pink and purple hair, you you need to make that hair pink and purple. Don't just, you know, don't get choosy and just choose one color. Uh, they obviously went out of their way to make their hair colorful for a reason. And there you have it. There's, uh, there's Lar there. That is a live digital caricature. If you guys want to learn a little bit more, please visit my website, nolanharrisart.com, or my YouTube channel. Thanks.